All right, uh, another video for our parts specialist playlist here is we're going to talk about how to look up parts really quick. You can see from our counter here the uh, popular catalogs that you find in the industry. I'm going to take this parts unlimited one here, and in the back of it, uh, right before the index, you're going to have a cross reference. And what you want to do with this, and, and the, by the way, these are found throughout the catalog in the batteries, uh, spark plugs, here's handlebars and levers, different things. But the one in the back is great because the fact that it, I'll just pick any model here, I'll use the top. For all these Suzuki's here, you got tire sizes, chain, front and rear sprockets, battery, and spark plugs. Very, very common uh, replacement items. So I love this cross-reference chart. So another thing that I require any technician to do in a shop or in the uh, classroom here is I require them just cut up a manila envelope like this, if you will, or folder, and use it to draw a line across there so that they make sure and get the right part. It is so easy to sit here and go like this and as you're drawing your line across here, accidentally come down a line or up a line and you're going to end up getting the wrong part. So this is mandatory. Uh, if, if someone doesn't do this for me, I won't even accept the uh, ticket. So there's your piece there. So you can see here we've got um, the one I just happened to grab was a GS650 Katana, tire sizes, battery, and so on. I could go to my electrical. I could find the battery number that was uh, stated there and verify to look up. Now, if I want options, I could use this cross-reference, and I could see the best brand, a little less quality, a little less quality, and get all the way down to the cheapest battery possible. So it shows me multiple options. So it's really going to be up to you. Guys, why did I say I like to go here first regardless? Because of muscle memory? Muscle memory. So we're using that sports philosophy that if I'm using this a lot, then I'm going to be familiar with it and know it's always there so that I can get that nice, quick cheat sheet. Great idea here to use these cross-reference charts. They're handy and get used to them and get familiar with them.